Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you. Um, I have been gone for a week because I came down with COVID and uh, I felt absolutely terrible last week. But I'm feeling much better now, I'm all clear and um, I'm back. <laughs> so uh, I started, well I started to make this journal, um, you know, before I, I got sick uh, and I had to leave it obviously. I uh, had a little play at the weekend with some paints and some inks and I'll show you the bits that I uh, I done with that. Um, so yeah, so this is a grungy collage vintage journal, that's what I'm calling it. And it measures 8 by 5, it has one signature and 40 pages front and back. I have used a lot of different uh, people's uh, kits and ephemera kits throughout, so I'll mention that as I go through. Uh, so, and it will be listed in my shop if you're interested. Um, and those of you that had bought from me like prior to last week, I've obviously only just got all that shipped out today because obviously I was isolating because of being ill. Um, so sorry about the delay on that, but you know, when these things happen, they happen and it's kind of out of my control. So, um, yeah, right. I have a stitched all around the cover. The paper that I used for the cover, I believe, is called, well, it's a page from Flea Market from uh, Pink Monarch. And this is the painted, uh, it was inks and paints and it was just good fun. It was something for me to do on Saturday when I felt a little bit better and um, I wanted to have a little play with something. I, I think I was only in here for about an hour and a half and then I had to go and lay down again <laughs> because I was absolutely knackered. Um, so yeah, the that's the painted bit that i done. I'm going to try and recreate similar using the same colours because I really liked how it all turned out. So hopefully I'll remember how to do that. And I might scan it as well so that I've got it to hand. I didn't think about that at the time. But anyway, so the topper is using the painted piece, uh, a piece of the painted piece. And uh, this is Artie Mays. Uh, I'm not sure if the flower is from Tag Fabrication or if it's from Tracy's uh, Field Notes Field Notes Layered Tags. It's one or the other because I used um, tags from both of them kits. Um, the word is from Artie Mays and that is from her Build a Cluster kit and I've used some of them bits throughout as well. And then this is from Tracy's kit and that's from the Field Notes layered tags and that is the top part. We have eyelets, string as a closure. I've left, I've done a lot of sewing on this. Uh, I've left little bits of cotton but of course if you don't like the little tatty bits they can be easily trimmed off. So let's yeah, let's let's do this and get a big knot. <laughs> there we go. So there we have it. You can see like the stitching. Let me just make sure I'm in frame here. Yes, I am. So uh, this paper here is from Pink Monarch from the flea market. The butterfly I stuck on and I stuck this on. I I think that's Artie Mays, and this is Artie Mays from her uh, Builder Cluster kit. And as you can see, the stitching. Then I made a pocket here using uh, Tracy's Field Notes layered tags. Then I just layered up with the painted pieces and little bits that um, were from either Tracy's kit or Tag Fabrication. And that is a that is a, a kit. Uh, what do you call that again? I can't remember. My my brain is mush. Um, collaboration <laughs> between Tracy Fox and Artie Mays. Uh, this is Artie Mays as well, and so is the word. And then inside here we have a tag fabrication. I've done a lot of splattering. That splattering is everywhere in my shed. It's on my my laptop screen. It's on my blinds, on my window. And on the ceiling, <laughs> it went everywhere. I didn't actually notice it until today when I came in and I saw the splatters everywhere. I was like, oopsie, I made a right mess. But it was good fun. So, yeah, they are, they've been splattered on with black paint. So that isn't like how you get the tags. And there's stamping and little bits of stenciling here, there and everywhere. So the painted piece I used and covered it completely up with a Field Notes layered tags 
ticket of Marty Mays and this is Artie Mays and again it's got some splatters on it and the word is from Artie Mays. This is just coffee dyed paper and when I was um, doing this, the um, the painted, uh, the inks and paints background papers that I created, I was rolling the brayer onto coffee dyed paper and I got a few nice sheets which I've added in here and that's some stamping there and that goes on there like so and you can see there as well made a little pocket uh, that's cardstock and then just scrap pieces left over from other things that I've used within the journal the butterfly and the word is from Artie Mays's uh, build a cluster this is from Artie Mays one of her freebies which you can find on her Facebook group which is called Artie Mays and Friends. Again, some more splatters on there. Um, that is uh, from the French ephemera kit from Artie Mays. And then you can see the splatters and the stamping there. It was so much fun. And I was actually inspired to do uh, like the, um, the painting from a journal that I saw. And I cannot remember the lady's name now or her channel's name. But I'd watched it whilst I was, I was sick. So um, I kind of got the idea from like that, the painting, and that if I can find it, I will link it below. So that's a field notes layered tag, and then this is from Tracy Fox as well. And this is completely collaged down. So that is from one of Tracy's kits. I think it's called Silhouette, and. I just kind of tore that. We've got some of the build a cluster on here, and that is Artie Mays. And I just put enjoy the journey again. Like I said, that is from build a cluster. Then here we have another tag, and I used that painted piece um, for the background. I wish I can. I did actually show a picture of it on the chat group, uh, Junk Journal Junkies chat group. So. If you've seen it on there, you'd know what I'm talking about. And it's all been stitched around. Artie Mays tickets. Uh, the word precious is from Artie Mays Build a Cluster. This is from Tracy Fox Field Notes Layer Tag. And so is that. And I think this base, the tag here, is tag fabrication. With the Build a Cluster, you get like four washi tape. So I kind of use that and that around wrapped it around the page splatters and some stamping and that goes on there and then that's that side this i don't know who that's from now i can't remember but it was kind of grungy and it actually had the splatters on it already so i didn't have to do that um a little bit of st uh, stamping there here again is just a collaged piece so that's not a pocket or anything uh this is tracy's uh silhouette paper the butterfly and that is from tag fabrication and that is from the word embrace is from build a cluster field not layered a field not layered tag <laughs> uh, tracy fox and here i just made a little belly band with the um, painted it was cardstock that i used um, to do all this on so it was all the inks and all the paints then we've got some i think that's some scraps from Tracy's kit. This is the four washi from Build a Cluster, and the three butterflies are from that. So I made this from Build a Cluster, even though it's not a cluster, it's a little journal card. That's a really good kit. You can, you know, you don't have to use it to build clusters, you can do so many different, you can make tags, journal cards, all sorts of things from it, um, booklets, you name it. Uh, again, this was me just rolling the brayer off onto coffee dyed paper. Um, and I like that because you'll never get to exactly the same. Not unless you scan it and you print it out again. So some stitching here. Another one of these splatters already on it. Some more stitching just there. Little collage piece there. Uh, I think that's from Tag Fabrication. Then here we have a tag which was tag fabrication and field notes layered tag this piece in the middle and build a cluster from Artie Mays there and there and then this is freebie from Artie Mays I just made like a double tag 
and that's and we've got some of that full washi there as well that's just paper clipped on there so that's that <coughs> <coughs> excuse me do you know it's something that i haven't done haven't having covid i didn't actually have a cough and now we've got a cough i'm just going to take a little sip of my fizzy pop <laughs> Yeah, never had a cough. Um, so yeah, another uh, little creation from the Builder Cluster. And you get two like collage pa uh, pages with it. And then you get all the elements you can cut out. So I'll just put the bird on there. And then this little um, label. And then the splatters on there. And this is the silhouette from Tracy Fox. And I got some, anyone in the UK, um, I will link it below. I got both of these for eight ninety nine, uh, wax linen thread on Amazon. Um, whilst I was poorly, <laughs> you know, when you shop because there's nothing else to do. Um, because the, I had one of these which I bought well over a year ago and I've, I've got, sorry about that, I've got that much left of it. Now that's lasted me well over a year and as you know I make a lot of journals and I do waste some of it because I you know I you know you over measure when you're um trimming it off and using it and you cut bits away and it goes in the bin so one of them lasted me a year and I and when I originally got that one um it was about nine pound so I got two of them for nine pound so that was the bargain of the week last week you get obviously that brown color and the cream so I'll try and remember and put the link to that below but that was here in the UK so I don't know if you can get it for the same price anywhere else in the world so this is another builder using builder cluster the bird and the little label and that goes on there like so and I've got a little piece of washi there. And that's a tag that I used using, uh, a tag that I used, a tag that I made using the painted backgrounds that I created. And I've just put some brown packaging tape here. Ticket from Artie Maze, Butterfly, I think it's Artie Maze. And that, and that is Artie Maze as well. And that just goes on there. Then here we have another just little collage piece and some stitching there again another page just using the paints from my my brayer and then here we have another uh, journal card using the elements from build a cluster use that that and that and the rest was all done for me the belly band using the butterflies from that as well and then that's the painted background that I created. Here's another tag using tag fabrication and the word is uh, from the Builder Cluster and these two are Artie Mays from the Ticket Collection and one of the Oddment Kits and again I've splattered on that as well. Another collage piece here and as you can see all the splatters and the stamping here we have another tag and that's using Tracy's uh, elements from the field notes layered tags and then that is the background paintings the painting that I done and that is just like a double tag for journaling and that goes in there another collage piece here another pocket there and inside the pocket that's another Brayerdorf page and this is Artie Maze that's the freebie this is from again I splattered that it's what's that from that is from the French ephemera and that is tag fabrication I've splattered on that I don't want you thinking that that's what it looks like and then you you know if you go and buy it and you think oh there's no splatters on that it's because I'd done it myself uh just a little journaling card there from Tracy Fox and that's just layered up with papers and the four washi from the Builder Cluster so is that from Builder Cluster and so is that another tag using the painted background and that is from Tracy Fox and the word is Artie Maze I keep thinking that's a piece of cotton and it's not <laughs> it's just where the paper had been slightly folded and obviously it stayed like that whilst it dried 
and it just looks like a piece of cotton and then here is a collage piece there and then a little tiny pocket there and I just popped a Phil Knotts layered tag in there and that's been splattered on as well and that is the back so that is the journal so that was lots of fun um like I said, I kind of wrecked the place down all the splatter and I'm going to get sort of box out for doing splatters because I can't have this mess. Um, I had it in, on my face, in my hair. <laughs> oh, I didn't realise I had it all over my face. And when I walked into the house, uh, I got some strange looks. It was like, why have you got black dots all over your face? <laughs> and it was like, ah, oh, painting. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Um, like I said, this will be listed in my shop. I'll try and remember and list the um, the link to this just in case anybody wants to buy that. That's if it's still, if it's not at the same price, then I won't bother. Um, I don't know if it was a deal or something like that, but um, I was happy that I got two of them for the price of one. So there we go. Um, oh, thank you for everyone who has wished me well on Facebook as well and here on YouTube. Um, I do appreciate it and I think it all helped all helped make me feel better um, so yeah, so have a good day and I'll speak to you all soon, bye